X-ray images of the normal left foot. X-ray images of the normal left foot. An X-ray image of the normal left foot can be a helpful diagnostic tool. Unlike a regular X-ray, an oblique view allows the doctor to more easily view the phalanges and the interphalangeal joint. The base of the fifth metatarsal, as well as the medial margins of the tarsal bone and the corresponding metatarsal, should be checked for alignment and length. The calcaneum and the lateral tendons are also examined. The first frame of a normal foot model is called a footprint. The foot is viewed from the antero-posterior AP plane, which provides an ideal X-ray for visualizing the medial cuneiforms, the metatarsal flanges, and the lusfranc joint. The second frame, the hind foot line, is drawn from the medial heel border to the great toe and titled the hind forefoot line. An X-ray of the foot is a useful diagnostic tool for identifying problems. These images are very detailed and can be used to assess various types of foot conditions. The first step in getting an X-ray of your foot is to determine whether you're pregnant. If you're pregnant, tell the X-ray technician if you're expecting. Similarly, children are more likely to be comfortable with the procedure if parents explain the procedure to them. X-rays of the foot are an important diagnostic tool for a number of reasons. First, they provide doctors with a better understanding of the anatomy and function of the foot than shoe designs. In addition to determining the condition of the foot, they can plan treatment and evaluate the outcome of surgery. Furthermore, a normal foot X-ray can detect a variety of conditions, from a broken bone to an infection. Another X-ray of the foot shows the alignment of the phalangeal joints and the alignment of the feet. The fourth metatarsal should be aligned with the medial border of the cuboid. Moreover, weight-bearing views may not show diastasis in the joint. Depending on the type of X-ray images of the foot, you may not see the diastasis in the foot. X-ray images of the foot can be helpful in diagnosing many common foot disorders. These X-rays can help doctors identify the origin of painful symptoms. For example, they can reveal whether a fractured bone has healed properly, or if the bones are aligned correctly. Additionally, they can aid in surgery planning. However, there are risks to the X-ray images of the feet. In addition to X-ray images of the foot, a video showing a non teroposterior view is also available. This view helps the doctor visualize the medial elements of the foot, such as the cuneiforms and the lusfranc joint. The X-ray images of the normal left foot are usually ambiguous, so a video of the foot will help the physician determine whether the foot is normal. A video of an X-ray of a normal left foot is available for further comparison. The X-ray images of the right foot are useful in assessing the alignment of the metatarsal flanges. Ontero-posterior X-ray images of a normal left foot can also detect broken bones and dislocated joints. They can be helpful in planning surgery and evaluating its results. An X-ray of the foot is a diagnostic tool that can be used to find the cause of many common symptoms. It can also detect fractured bones, dislocated joints, and other conditions that can affect the alignment of bones. It can also be used to plan and assess the effects of surgical procedures. It can be used to diagnose tumors, cysts, and late-stage infections of the bones. Radiographs of the foot can be used to diagnose a number of conditions. A X-ray can provide accurate data on the alignment of the cuneiforms. An X-ray image of the normal left foot will show the alignment of the cuneiform and the angle between the cuneiforms and the second metatarsal. This injury can cause the foot to be unstable and lead to callus formation. A video of the amputation of the Les Frank ligament is available to explain how to diagnose this condition. Normal foot X-ray, normal foot X-ray, normal foot X-ray.